This is right now thank you for joining me on my crochet channel so in this video I would like to show you how to crochet a pillow uh, in a cable stitch I just learned the stitch and um, I really enjoy it it's not too hard and I made up this uh, pillow pattern um, and it is um, it's a small one it's 12 inches square and I also found this beautiful, um, perfect yarn for it. It's so soft. I'll show you um, in a little bit. And um, how I make this pillow is um, I first crochet two squares, equal squares, and then I stitch them together. So let's uh, see about the yarn first. And I'm using this wonderful new yarn from Lion Brand called Gaboo. And you will need two balls of it. Uh, one ball uh, has 3.5 ounces, 100 grams in it. And it is a uh, lightweight, size 3. And uses a um, 4mm crochet hook, which is what I'm using for the pillow as well, 4 millimeters. And the name of the yarn is so clever because the yarn consists of 50% cotton and 50% rayon from bamboo. So it's the first part of cotton, last part bamboo. So cute. And I have to say this yarn is really perfect for hats too. Um, I've made a few and they come out really uh, soft and uh, nice. So but now let's get started with the pillow. And of course you will need the pillow insert uh, and the 12 inch one the square one is uh, perfect for this pillow and we start with slip knot and then chain 53 Two. Four, five, six. And now the first row is uh, we need to single crochet in each chain, starting with a second chain from the hook. So in here. So do this. Uh, in each chain you will have a total of 52 single crochets I did 52 single crochets and to start row 2 first chain and then turn and again single crochet once in each stitch So same thing, uh, 52 single crochets. And on row three, we start the cable pattern. Uh, so first again, chain one and turn. I always chain one uh, starting each row and it doesn't count as a stitch. And uh, Third row starts with uh, four half double crochets. So one, two, three, and four. And next, I'm going to do four drop double crochet stitches. And so that means I'm going to insert my hook um, in space below that previous row. So the regular stitch I would insert my hook here, but I will reach out and insert my hook in space underneath here in this space. So it goes below that previous row. And I, then I just make the usual double crochet stitch into that space and do it 
four times two three and four and next again four half double crochets the regular ones inserting a stitch inserting hook uh, as usual one two three four and again four drop double crochet stitches so starting my double crochet inserting hook below the previous row space here and then do a regular double crochet four times And then repeat this till the end of uh, row three. You will end with uh, four half double crochets. So here I finished with uh, four half double crochets. And when I count, I have six of these drop stitch parts. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that means we're going to have six cables. And um, also every, so this was third row, every odd number row is right side, every even number row is wrong side. So now um, row four, again, chain one and turn. And on the wrong side, we always just half double crochet in each stitch. And uh, on the wrong side, uh, how I do this is I insert hook through these two upper loops, not through here, but through these upper loops to do my half double crochets. And on the next round, I will show you on the right side, I insert my hook uh, through these all these three loops so but here right now doing half double crochet in each stitch inserting hook through these two upper loops and uh, row five chain one and turn and now I'll show you how I do my half double crochets here the first four so I'm going to insert my hook through here, this space. So um, on the wrong side row, previous row, I inserted hook, these are my two upper loops, and I inserted hook through here. On right side, when I do my half double crochets, I insert my hook through here. So meaning these three loops. So right below here. And uh, it's just because I think this way the pattern looks the best. So just to remember that difference on right side, I insert through th uh, three loops on wrong side through two upper loops only. Uh, after four half, half double crochets, now I'm going to do triple front post crochet, front post triple crochet. So for that, yarn over twice, and now find the space, find that first drop double crochet stitch here that we did on row three. And I need to insert my hook from front around the post of this first stitch and bring it up back up from here. So this stitch will be in front of the, my new stitch. Uh, yarn over, pull yarn through. And now do your regular triple crochet. Pull through first two loops, again, next two loops, and third two loops, so triple crochet. And we're gonna do four of these for the pattern. Yarn over twice. The next drop stitch is here. So I insert my hook through the space from front to back, around, from behind, bring it up here. 
then pull up your yarn through here and to your front dot triple crochet I do again yarn over twice insert hook front to back bring it up here bring your yarn pull yarn through and to triple crochet stitch with this yarn I always have to make sure make make uh, pay some extra attention that I uh, pull my hook through all those little strands sometimes they separate a little bit but which is okay and the fourth same way just may take a little bit of practice but that's these that's how we create this pretty cable pattern with these front post triple crochet stitches and that's what we're going to do from now on on each uh, right side row and then next uh, just the regular half double crochets inserting hook again through all three loops here one two three and four and again front post triple crochets yarn over twice insert find that drops first drop stitch insert hook around it from front to back bring your yarn pull yarn through to the triple crochet Quite a bit of twisting turning involved here but um you'll get the hang of it might be slower at first but it's nice to keep working when you get used to that stitch and now repeat um uh, all through the end of this row again the regular half crochets next four two three four and just wanted to show you the last half double crochet of this uh, row uh, it's uh, right here it feels like inserting hook into the side of the work but that's the correct space to finish and now uh, next row chain one it's the wrong side number six and uh, just half double crochet again in each inserting hook through those two upper loops not through here but here And now row seven is going to be a little more challenging because we're going to do the cable twist here. So let's see, um, I did my chain, uh, four half double crochets first. Three and four. And now the front post triple crochets but instead of inserting hook through that first one here I'm going to insert it through the third one so that's how we create the twist so here's my third otherwise I do everything the same insert hook from right side from front to back bring it up on the other side pull yarn through and to the tri triple crochet so you'll see that's my first it's quite tilted here and then the next one the second one is going to be in that fourth stick around that fourth so again 
do the same. The third one is going to be through the first. So here, this one. And the last fourth is going to be around the second one here, this one. So, yeah, just a little bit more twisting here with this. Um, and now four half double crochets and make sure um, sometimes it feels like you have to insert hook here, but that's, look, this is where my last fourth uh, triple crochet is. So I need to reach over here and that's my first half double crochet. A second, third, and fourth, and again, here are my front post stitches. So let's do again that twist first front post double crochet, triple crochet around the third previous one. A second around the fourth here then third around that first this one here And the last fourth around the second. And first half double crochet, not here, but here. One, two, three, and four. I'll do one more time the twist. First one around the third of previous. Second one around the fourth. Third one around the first. And the last fourth around the second. And half double crochets. And I repeat this till the end of the row. And finished my cable twist and starting to look more like cable pattern already. Uh, now row eight chain and turn and just um, have double crochets again in each stitch through uh, upper two upper loops starting row 9 I turned and made a chain uh, four first half double crochets three four and um, this one is could be a little tricky too even though we're not doing the twist on this row um, sometimes it's a little hard to insert the hook through these twisted uh, stitches so so let's see first one we um, 
now do the regular order uh, first one through first so which is here so this one not too bad do the first front post triple and I um, think that second is the hardest because it's kind of like hidden here back here so but here it is this yarn is smooth so it makes it easier to uh, find that correct space that's why I like to use it and then the third one through this one that's not a problem here and the first one uh, last one through here not hard either so that just that second one was a bit tricky then again four half double crochets and let's do again first triple crochet here's my first twist stitch and that seconds hidden under here so. sometimes it does take longer uh, but here and third and fourth And I wanted to show you again, uh, I did the first one and that second, the hard one. Uh, sometimes it helps when I insert my hook and reach all the way down here where the stitch starts, where there's more space. And that's when I get around the post a little bit easier. See, it comes, the hook comes up right there. So you can try that as well. And then repeat this uh, till the end of the row. Uh, row 10, again wrong side, I did chain and um, half double, cro double crochets, one in each. And uh, from now on, these three right side rows are going to repeat. So next is row 11, uh, and you'll repeat row 5, just uh, doing the front post triple crochets in each of the previous ones. Then wrong side again, um, half double crochets, one in each. And then the next uh, right side row, you repeat the row 7 with the twist stitches. And then again, wrong side half double crochets. And then you repeat the row nine with uh, again, just the front post triple crochets into each twist stitch. And so this way, um, keep working until you have seven of these twists and also uh, one row of these front posts into the twist stitches. And then uh, we can uh, finish the square together. And I'm finished with my first square. So I have uh, three, four, five, six, seven of these uh, twists. Uh, I made one more row of front post uh, uh, triple crochet stitches into the twist stitches. And then I finished with a wrong side row of half double crochet stitches so total uh, is 46 rows and now you can uh, fasten off uh, and um, you could leave a long tail when you cut your yarn so uh, to use it later on to stitch the sides of the pillow 
and then make the second square exactly the same and don't fasten off and I also finished uh, now my second square I didn't fasten off uh, because we're going to keep crocheting uh, to attach the top sides of the pillow so for that I'm going to place my squares uh, the right side facing each other so here's the wrong side put it on top of the other one so and your working yarn and the loop here in the right top corner so the right side both right sides are now inside so we're working this way so keep your squares uh, together wrong side out and the first thing I'm gonna do the working loop on this side gonna bring it over with my hook and insert hook into those two upper loops of the first half double crochet and then just do a slip stitch to attach the yarn and from here now I'm each uh, I'm going to insert my hook through uh, uh, both sides so first these two upper loops of uh, this one and then also the two upper loops of that other side then yarn over and pull it through and also pull it through the loop on hook so it's kind of a slip stitch it's just you have to insert your hook through these four loops to pull the yarn through so we're going to do again the next stitch on this side is right here two loops and on the other side those two loops pull the yarn through all of them and also through the loop on hook and then just continue the same way two loops next two loops here next two loops here pull through next two loops here next two loops here And because we're working on the wrong side, it's going to create a really nice uh, edge on the right side. So let's see. This is how it looks on the right side. And I like the look of it. So let's keep doing this uh, till the end of the top side. And I'll meet you there. I just did the last stitch. Uh, on both sides uh, I can now cut off the yarn fasten off and because I left this long tail when I finished that um, first square I can use that now to keep stitching if you didn't you can use you can keep this working yarn um, just make it long when you cut it off and uh, you can use that so either way you're covered uh, I don't need to do that here, so I'm just going to cut it, fasten off, and let's now see how I do the side, the first side. So now, maybe this is funny, but um, I like to um, actually use my needle to stitch the side. Um, but you are welcome to keep crocheting if you feel comfortable with this with the edge 
loops here I just find it easier to stitch through it so why not um, so yeah using my long tail I'm just going to still wrong side out I'm just going to um, use the cross stitch here so just uh, inserting my needle through both sides and this will create also a very nice uh, smooth edge on the right side so let's keep stitching that side and then we'll see how to do the bottom edge and so I stitched all the way down and uh, you can now weave in this end and this end as well I didn't leave a long tail here um, so and this will look look like this on the right side and next we'll do the bottom edge and because I don't have the long tail here I will need to join the yarn and again I'm going to now crochet crochet the edge the top, uh, bottom edge through those um, beginning chain loops so it's uh, going to be easy so I did a slip knot and um, First, I'm going to insert my hook through these beginning chains. So here's the very first one on this side. And here's the first one on that side. And then pull my slip knot through. And you can do a... Uh, stitch to secure it and then next we're gonna do the slip stitch again uh, just now we have uh, one loop on both sides it's that beginning chain we started both squares so so this loop here and this loop on the other side pull the yarn through both and also through the loop on hook and just keep doing same I have to make sure it's not too tight. Sometimes I tend to crochet tightly. I don't want the edge to be too tight. Let's do a few more. I want to show you how it looks on the right side. Okay. So when you're done, you can turn the right side up and this is how it will look so let's uh, finish this bottom edge we can then actually turn the right side out to stitch the last side and at the end here I can cut off my yarn and um, fasten off because I already have a long tail on the other side square waiting for me so I can finish stitching that last side. So if you don't have long tail here, just leave it here when you cut off this working yarn so you don't have to join new yarn. So 
so now I'm going to um, turn the pillow right side out. Stretch out all the corners. And um, on that pillow insert, I'm going to cut off that uh, label. It's going to, it's a little bit noisy if you leave it in here inside. And now the exciting part. Let's uh, insert this, put the cover on. sure all the corners are in place can use a little bit of adjusting here it's already feel feels nice and soft so around that pillow inserts it's it stretches out a little bit so brings out that pretty pattern even more okay and let's stitch that last side now and yes i'm going to use the needle again and make the same stitches that i did before and um of course you want to weave in all the loose ends before you insert your pillow and so the only difference now is that we will uh, stitch on the right side but I'm going to do that same stitch um, as on the other side just uh, crossing inserting a needle from inside out on both sides And again, um, it's it's certainly up to you. Um, you can just as well uh, stitch all the sides or crochet all the sides. Stitch with needle or crochets. And I finished stitching the last side. Uh, I can now weave in that last end and uh, I'm finished. So this is how we make a pillow. It's uh, 12 inches long and wide and in cable stitch pattern. So I hope you like this video and uh, my tutorial is helpful. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. I'm happy to help. Uh, thank you for watching and happy crocheting.